of our students, Nicola, who is going to share her testimony. place and I was told I couldn't have my dad with me and I was just like what's going on I was in A&E again and the only nearest bed available was apparently Kent and then I was in there for about five you weeks had quite a complicated diagnosis in the first place can you feel uh, do you could you tell us a little bit about that yeah when I was 14 I was diagnosed with recurrent depressive disorder post-traumatic stress disorder and emerging borderline personality disorder but um, the confusing part is that I also hear voices as well as that, but I'm not schizophrenic, which is a thing that people do get very confused about. Absolutely. And um, so a when did you start hearing? Years. Her traumatic experience when she was 14 meant that she frequently self-harmed and has needed psychiatric care. When I was trying to get help, being turned away from the places that are meant to help you, that is really horrible because it takes a lot of courage to reach out to get help. A lot of healthcare professionals, like they, they see it as a way of attention seeking rather than a genuine sign of distress. That, that I could heal myself. I was, I took a really big overdose. I had to get medical treatment for it, and I was just, it was like a completely different person. The despair Nikki felt is hard to listen to. Activist for the anti-stigma campaign, Time to Change. Thanks very much for joining us today, Nikki. Now, before we turn to images of mental illness, we're going well, to look at the biggest psych things that I tend to get discriminated on is the fact that I hear voices. And um, like once, when I just came out of a brief hospital admission, and when you feel like you, like you have no other option than to self-harm and to physically hurt yourself, it's a horrible place. You're just desperate and you feel alone and you, you need someone to listen, but you don't think there's anyone to listen. Growing up can be difficult, but for some children it can be unbearable, with self-harm feeling like the only way out. Recent figures show that more children... Have